Hello friends, today I'm going to speak about this Nanoleaf Essentials light bulbs. Welcome to this new video. So for a long time I was looking for a solution to make my light bulbs smart so that I can control them with HomeKit and Siri. But I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the Philips U solution and the cheaper solutions like those from IKEA, Lidl, Action aren't compatible with HomeKit, so you always have to use their app in order to control your lights. So I found these Nanoleaf light bulbs who work with HomeKit and they work with Thread. So first, a little word on how Thread works. So normally you have your modem that makes a Wi-Fi connection to your Apple HomePod. And when you give a voice command to Siri, this goes to your HomePod, your HomePod makes a Wi-Fi connection to your modem and your Wi-Fi modem connects by Wi-Fi to a light bulb. When you use another system like Philips Huey, here you have a bridge and it's the bridge that makes connection to the light bulbs. With thread, your light bulbs make a connection directly to the home pod. So when I give a voice command, it goes directly to my light bulb without connecting by Wi-Fi throughout the bridge. So it goes directly to the light bulb itself. So thread is much quicker, uses less battery for battery operated items. And another great thing is they create like a mesh network. So if I have several light bulbs or other thread enabled devices, not only they connect with the HomePod, but they also interconnect. And the advantage of this solution is whenever one connection fails to work, well, it still work throughout the other connections and it self reestablish afterwards. So I ordered this set with three light bulbs. I ordered it directly on Nanoleaf itself. So this is the light bulb, as you can see, it has a really specific form. This form also has a really complicated name. And these light bulbs are RGB, so I can use it in white, but I can also use it with colors. It comes with these three home kit codes when you look well on the light bulb. You have the home kit code as well. So compare this code with your sticker in order to know which code you have to scan. So now the light bulb is installed. I can do the configuration. The only downside of these light bulbs is that your wall switches will have to be enabled all the time. So I will put a little bit of tape on top of it. So this light bulb stays connected all the time. So I downloaded the Nanoleaf app. Now I have to give it to my home. Connects to Bluetooth, accept notifications, and connecting with Apple. Synchronize with HomeKit. Connect with my house. So you first have to connect the light bulbs within this Nanoleaf application and then they will appear automatically in the home kit. So I will start the scan and start my first light bulb. I will add it to my house. This one is in the kitchen. I have to give it a name. So the most practical would be this 
but I give it a, a dot as well. As my room is also named kitchen, I can give it the same name. Uh, we want to activate adaptive lightning. Okay. Adaptive lightning is that the temperature of the light will be in function of the time of the day. So in the morning and evening, the light will be softer and during the day, it will be whiter. So and there it is. La cuisine eta. So it's shut down for now. Funny thing is that also my other light bulbs from other brands are also shown in this application. Really nice. So here I can see the type of lighting I have. I can set favorite lights, scenes, etc. So now let's go to my home app. Do I want active adaptive lighting? Choose my lights. Use so and there they are lustre salle à manger la cuisine so within the home kit you can see your lights so these three light switches are the nano leaf lights i can change the logos if i want to let's do so right away You can control the light by clicking on the icon. So if you click on the icon, it turns on and it turns on in the last settings. Click on the icon again, it turns off. If I click to the side, there you have some options to dim the light. So when I click on it, it goes on. I can slide it up to make it brighter and down to make it softer. Here beneath, I can choose the color the first one is the one that changes with the day, so softer in the morning and the evening and brighter in daytime. They have bright white, some other white tones and this purple one. So when you click in the middle, you can choose your own color. So I can make it blue, green, whatever I like. So let me set it back to the normal color. There you go. So the possibilities within the home kit are quite sufficient for normal usage. But if you want to use more of the options, then you can go to the NanoLeaf app itself. So here it is. I have my devices. When I click on the dashboard, I have my rooms with all my lights inside. When I click on the light itself, I have my basic colors and have my scenes and I can set favorites. So the scenes are a nice option. You have the default ones, but you can also browse for other scenes. So I like this one, for example, the television one, and that one simulates a television so when i'm not at home i can set one of the light bulbs to this television scene and it changes colors from dark gray to blue which make things from outside that my television is on so there are people in the house you can have a preview of this scene by clicking on this play button then you select the light on which you want to see it and it displays the scene and if you like it you can push on the download button just beside it and you choose which light bulbs you want to download the scene to so when i click here i see my scenes and you can create a new scene by giving it a name select your devices and when you click on your device you can choose your color and then top right you can save it and this way you can create new scenes that will be displayed within the HomeKit app. So I place some tape on top of the light switch to avoid that people press the light switches and my light bulbs will lose the contact. I controlled with the HomePod anyway, but I saw if you turn off the power and you put it back on, the light switch will go on anyway. So you could also just make a light mark to remember in which position the light switches has to be and leave it like that so if this video was helpful don't forget to share to like and subscribe 
and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.